Hello everybody, thanks for uh, checking out this video and I have another unboxing. I rarely do these and this is two in a row. I uh, got another watch uh, in that I had ordered a long time ago. It finally came in. It's kind of one of those situations where I had forgotten about it. So let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at this watch. Sorry, a little coffee. Um, all right, so this is from a brand called Spinnaker. I have not opened it or looked at it yet. So um, this is like, you know, live and it came from Hong Kong. And look, it's Spinnaker, which is a watch brand, but also says uh, Second or Second. Uh, this is actually a watch customizer uh, in France out of Paris. So this is a customized watch made in collaboration with Spinnaker, uh, which is kind of like a, like a, like a mid-tier, low-tier uh, watch brand. And so, okay, so let's see. Two dots, okay, interesting. And maybe you guys know what this is gonna be, but I have not seen it. And so you can see the box is very interesting. You got these two dots, and it's got this little, um, this, this white. I'll put that to the side here. Um, kind of a heavy box, and then let's open it carefully and of course inside this box is another box okay and it's got that same little white motif and that was supposed to I'm guessing have been a little ghost because this watch is so you got some paperwork here more foam and ah there it is how interesting okay this is the watch this is called the uh, Spinnaker 50 not fathoms phantoms and so it's a uh, kind of like a Halloween themed watch and so instead of 50 fathoms you know of course an homage to the Blanc Pond which is a superb watch underrated dive watch 50 phantoms so it has 50 ghosts upon it on it <laughs> apparently and um, so you have a nice little piece here and so this is really nice this I very much appreciate they give you an extra rubber strap so let's take a look at this thing. Uh, 43 millimeter case diameter, but it kind of feels kind of feels 40, 41 maybe. So 43 millimeters, uh, 12 millimeters thick, 150 meters water resistance. So really good stats. Um, hang on, let me see if I can figure out how to get this thing open. And this is like Christmas morning because, um, like I said, I had forgotten that I ordered this because literally I think I ordered this one kind of similar to my um, to my uh, to my what my uh, I am wearing it the Laurier similar to the Laurier I ordered it about six months ago and like okay cool yeah I ordered it and then just completely forgot about it and it just sh a package shows up today and my wife was like, hey, did you order something from Hong Kong? And then, you know, it's like one of those things where a guilty conscience doesn't make you guilty. I was like, no, 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 I didn't order anything from Hong Kong. And then I was like, okay, what is this? Uh, but I did, it turned out. It was just many months ago. So sorry, I'm really struggling with that, um, with this plastic. Okay, that's sort of off now. So... Okay, this has a sticker here on the back, but it does have a customized rotor that has like a little ghost on it. Hang on, I can take this off. Easy. So see, look, that's fun. It's a customized rotor with a little ghost. Uh, of course, it has my favorite movement, the Miyota 9000 series movement, which are okay. Which are, they're okay. They don't keep great time, but uh, they're adequate movements. Um, I really like this watch though. I mean, just feeling it in hand, it feels great. And it even has a similar, um, I'm noticing it now, a similar um, finish on the bezel as the 50 Fathoms from Blanc Pond. Now, of course, that watch has a sapphire bezel. And man, I don't know, putting my finger on it, um, rubbing it gently back and forth, sorry, <laughs> putting my finger, touching it. Uh, it sure feels like it's a sapphire bezel. It looks beautiful. And there's all kinds of um, interesting places where they've applied loom. Let's do, the, let's do a bezel turn test. Okay, certainly the best bezel in the business, I've said it before and I'll say it again, uh, is the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms. That bezel is like butter. It is so good. As good as a Rolex bezel is, 
that bezel better. Um, this bezel, not vaguely close to that at all. It's, a, it's hard to turn, it's difficult to grasp, but it looks really nice. Um, it looks really nice. Um, cool, it doesn't have a date on it though. And the dial, hang on, let's zoom into it, okay? Hang on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and now we can really look up close at it. The dial has this, um, the dial has this kind of like a textured feeling to it. You can see how cute those little ghosts are everywhere. Um, so like I said, the bezel action, brutal, brutal. But you know, I mean, it, it turns, it doesn't move back and forth too much. It's signed there. And then of course that really cute ghost. This is a really fun watch. This is an interesting, fun watch that was really well done. It's got a little faux patina, which I can't stand typically, but it kind of is okay on this fun watch. Let's set the time. And based on the Laurier, it is about 5 p.m., 1700. So let's try to set the time. So, of course, screw down crown. Kind of got like an onion crown effect, making it very easy and pleasant to turn. Uh, hand winding is... There, there's, no, there's no feedback at all, so not great. Okay, I'm impressed. There's only one position on this no date watch. So let's hands move easily back and forth. I like that red seconds hand. That looks cool. So confirm again on the Laurier. It is a little after 1700, so 17 and then some. Put it right there. Cool. Screws in easy. Crown action is okay, not great, honestly. The Laurier has better crown action than that. Um, but yeah, you can see this bezel, man. It's I think they put a lot of money in the dial, a lot of money in the bezel, because that bezel effect, man, gun to my head, I would say that that is probably a sapphire bezel. It looks really good. It looks really nice, and I really like this blue color. I think it came in some different colors. I think this is the second version of this watch. Originally, it was in black. And let's see here. I'm going to take this strap out, so we'll look at that. So... It comes with a uh, with a rubber strap, and it's on this like vintagey blue strap thing. Um, let's switch out the strap, and I'll do that on camera because look, appreciate it. They have quick release spring bars, and so that's easy for me to do even through the camera. I love that little ghost on the back. This is a fun watch. This is this is a watch that will get a lot of um, will get a lot of like uh, stares and a lot of compliments. I know. And you know what, I just noticed this, look, it's got the ghost eyes on the keeper of the strap sign there. So let's see, looks like that is 12, so we'll put the buckle side there. And again, sorry, I'm doing this through the camera lens. Uh, somewhere, hang on a second. Nothing is easy whenever you're filming it live, believe me whenever I say that. It's like these birds, they haven't made a sound all day and now they're just like screeching. <laughs> uh, hang on a second, let's see. Still fighting with it. Hang on, I'll be right back. Let me get this strap on, okay? And then we'll see it on my wrist. Okay, finally, I got it figured out. All right, so let's see this thing on the uh, wrist. This is the Spinnaker 50 Phantoms. Take the trusty Laurier off the wrist. God, got a lot of feedback on this watch. So fun little watch. Check out my video uh, of another inexpensive, uh, fun fashion watch. This is the Laurier uh, Astra. Cool watch, really gives off that Mad Men vibe. I'll put that thing away and try this beast. Let's see, let's see the size difference actually. So 43 millimeters and like, I don't know, like 36, 35, 37 millimeters on the Laurier. So you can kind of see the size difference there. Obviously the dive watch, much larger, but not massive. You know what I mean? Not huge. And then let's put this bad girl on the wrist and see what it feels like. The, uh, the strap, excellent. Like, honestly excellent. It's not just like a cheap rubber strap. It's like a thick working man's rubber strap as they say um so it looks really good it's got a really high quality buckle and so that's a nice value add you get not just the vintage strap but you also get this very high quality better than typical um rubber dive strap and there you see the 50 phantoms on the wrist man it looks cool 
honest, it looks cool. It's fun to wear. It's easy to wear. You know, um, it's it's like a unique and interesting watch. It's very eye-catching. It's very different than this independent brand, like this, you know, this watch. So you can see how this is calm, subtle, relaxed. You know, the 50 Phantoms, not those things at all. It's big. It's, it's, it's big and it's like really cute and it's fun to wear. And obviously this is like a great watch for any day, but Halloween time specifically, I think it would be really fun to wear. Um, it's not too thick, you know, it's 12 millimeters thickness, which is not that bad. Um, I think a big part of that as, 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 as much as I put down these Miyota movements, a big part of that is how thin these movements are. So it allows the watch to get very thin. And so you can have like a nice dive watch with good depth rating, 150 meters on this one, like I said. Um, but it's not like unwieldy and not super thick. And the crown, it's got that onion style crown, but it doesn't dig at all. I, I like it. The crown doesn't dig, but man, I dig this watch. Um, it's super cool, um, super fun, and like I said, for me, it's like Christmas morning. I wasn't expecting this at all. It just kind of showed up, and I said, well, let me unbox it live, and I hope you, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. So this is a quick look at the uh, 50 Phantoms, cute name, from Spinnaker. Um, fun watch. Uh, not an expensive watch. Um, I think, oh man, how much did I pay for this? God, I don't know. Maybe it was like $500. I, surely I didn't pay more than $500 for this. I'll, I'll figure out what I paid for it and I'll get, I'll put that in the video. Guys, uh, <laughs> take care. God bless. I hope, uh, you all are doing well. Um, I hope you are finding happiness and contentment and peace. Um, and if you haven't found those things yet, know that those things are right around the corner. As always, I ask y'all to treat others with love and respect. And if you can't do that for some reason, just pretend, okay? Take care, guys. God bless. See you soon. Bye.